the Joe Rogan experience? I think some people have the burden of intelligence. And what I mean by that is that they're really smart and they see a lot of people around them that are silly. And they experience that so often that they get weary and they get, they get, you know, they sort of get rigid in their belief that their opinions are correct because they dismiss most of the people that are around them. Mm -hmm. Cause you're around a bunch of dummies. If you're mm -hmm. a really smart guy or a smart girl, it's hard. It's hard to, to maintain a, a good perception of what things are and what things aren't when you're the smartest person in the room. You kind of never want to be the smartest person in the room. Yeah. And also, yes. And also believing that you are yes. in a way excludes you yes. from including other people who are yes. also smarter than everybody in the room. Well, it's not even, maybe not even smarter, we should but, say, but, but they're, I know they're not you're limited saying. by an ideology. Their, their perspective isn't dimmed. Right. Yeah. They're, yes. They're, they see things clearly, which is, I think, one of the most underrated forms of intelligence. Like, there's all this intelligence in solving mathematical problems. And yeah, right. Social intelligence. But there's, there's, there's a bunch of different kinds of intelligence. Absolutely. And being able to see through the bullshit is, is an intelligence. And some people absolutely. just don't have it. Yeah. No, absolutely. And I think that, you know, at the same time, wanting to help someone see that angle mm -hmm. is also an important thing. So if you're yeah. like a, if you're someone who's like, oh shit, like let's say it's this, maybe you're, maybe you're trained uh, in tactical awareness right. and you uh, just have a different way of being in a room where mm -hmm. you sit, what sure. you think about all that stuff. And a situation arises where like potentially something dangerous could happen or whatever. Uh, then being able to explain that idea and that type of awareness so that someone can see that mm -hmm. is also possible. Like sharing it, they may not get it to the extent that you do, but they at least you've included it in, the, in their viewpoint. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Well, people that are soldiers, they do have a weird way of entering the room. It's My friend Andy Stump, he's uh, always sneaking up on me. He says, you got no situational awareness. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm like, we're in a crowd. Like, what am I supposed to do? Just constantly <laughs> on a 360 looking for danger? <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what he's saying. Yeah, that is what he's saying. <laughs> that is what he's saying. It's, uh, but that's because he's a SEAL. You know, yeah. that's how they look at they look that's, at things a whole lot different. That's how you stay alive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I think one of the things that's super important for people to recognize and it helps them open their mind up to other opinions is that even if they favor themselves very highly, um, the, the, that competitive thing of comparing your intellect and your reason to other people, it's very limiting. Yeah. Instead, instead of worrying about yourself, if you're smart, just be smart. Yeah. But just in, appreciate other intelligences. If it just, just get into talking to them. This is, that's m my thoughts on it. Instead Hell of being yeah. competitive with them, Get into trying to find out how they, they work because there's a lot of different humans on this planet. And we have this egocentric position, almost everybody does, <laughs> that they're at least better at one thing than other people are. Or they know some more about one thing than other people do. And it's a weird competitive thing that people get involved in. It's, it's stupid. Like yeah. you should recognize that it's awesome to have cool people around you that are like really smart and interested in weird shit and yeah. intelligent and, and inspiring yeah. and that you almost envy their, their creativity. Those are yeah. massively important people to have in your life. But when people get, they feel weird about comparing themselves to the, uh, the other person because they come up unfavorably. That's inse insecurity. Exactly. And that's where I, you see that with a lot of guys, guys puff up chests and start you know, comparing like how much their houses cost. Like, 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 like literally doing stuff that you're like, oh, we're still doing this. Yeah. Like to, 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 to my mind. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit, you guys aren't aware of it. Yeah. Like a way that I, but anyways, yeah. Right, yeah, right, yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. Like, you guys are doing some 1990s shit here. Yeah. Cause yeah, it's like, Michael, yeah, my, oh. I know. Cause like either they're like doing an act, yeah. you know, which right. I'm always hoping. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm always hoping I, that's why I'm, there's disbelief right. when it really is what it is. I'm like, oh shit, oh that's that's for real. That's actually the thing. It's weird, right? Yeah, it is a little. It's a little weird. I mean, some people have a lack of cool people around them too. That's a real problem. Yes. You get stuck in a. Sh it's like a good tomato plant is not going to grow in the fucking Sonora Desert. All right, there's no nutrients there. <laughs> it's too bright. It's the sun's too hot. It's not the right climate. <laughs>